Oh, hey, it's Leanne from Proud Pop Media. Thanks for tuning in. How's it going? <laughs> uh, so today um, I'm going to show you how to uh, be able to check your website email address um, in Gmail. So for example, I have my email address that is Leanne at Proud Pop Digital. Um, I want to be able to check that in my Gmail uh, interface here because it's easy. I've got another email account that I'd like to check and you can do that. All, all you need to do is follow these simple steps that I'm going to outline and, and please feel free to pause the video at any time so that you can um, do this along with me. Um, and that way you can watch it and get this done at the same time. So always looking to save time. And so there you go, here we go. So from your Gmail uh, inbox, come over to the cog here and click on see all settings. Click accounts and import, and then come down to the section that says send mail as, okay? So basically what this is saying is you can use Gmail to send um, from any other email address that you want as long as you can configure it properly. So. This is what we're going to do. Now I'm using um, Cloudways, uh, at my server is Cloudways, and um, I have a, a Rackspace and Elastic email um, uh, that I'm using for email. Not that that really matters to you, but um, <laughs> just so you know that these particular configurations are for Cloudways, Rackspace, and a elastic email all right so once you've put in your name and this is the name that you want people to see when they receive an email from you i've just put test here my email address and then i'm not going to treat this as an alias because it is the main email account on this domain which is proud pup digital okay next step so the smtp server for cloudways is uh here dot email that's rbr.com port is 465 username is the email address okay and then the password i've banked that so hopefully it works if it doesn't i will pause and grab it again all right so it's working um, so right now I need to verify um, that I want to use this, um, this Gmail account uh, to check this domain email account, right? So I'm going to go over to um, my, uh, I think it's in, it'll come up in Gmail uh, as well as the web-based mail. Let's just get logged in again. Okay, so there it is. All right, so this is the Gmail account that I had logged into, and this is the email that I want to check when I'm logged into this Gmail account, right? So I'm going to get grab the confirmation code here, copy and paste, and I'll put it there. Verify that. Okay, so we've got the first step done. We'll come back here so you can see what I'm talking about. Come back to accounts and import and send mail as Leanne at proudpupdigital.com. Great. So now I can send from this account, but I can't check this email account yet. So I have to take one more step. So we'll check email from this account and go through the same thing. Next, import emails from my other account, pop three, yes. And then the same thing, proud pop digital. And my password, I believe I banked that. And then the pop server is again, secure dot uh, email 
srvr.com. This time the port is 995. And let's leave a copy of the retrieve messages on the server. Um, I like to do that just in case. <clears throat> and basically where that is, uh, is up, up here. So if you're on Cloudways, this is a web-based email server. You can check your email, right? You don't have to go into Gmail to do it. So I just like to have that as a backup. Okay, you can always come in here and delete later. And you can always change this. You can um, redo it so that you don't leave a copy. Um, always use a secure connection, yes. Label incoming messages. I like to do this because I have a couple different email accounts that I check in Gmail. So I um, want to make sure I know where they're coming from and then add. Okay, so I think I just need to go and check my oops, email. So I'll pause here and all right, so that, oh yeah, that should work. Let's, there we go. All right, so it's somehow, well, it's for some reason, it's like sending me over to the next um, uh, window here, but if I come back here, you can see that now I can check email from this account. Okay, so it's checking mail now. So um, that really is it. That's all you need to do to be able to uh, check email from your website domain email in Gmail. So I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions, please let me know. And if you appreciate and, and got some value out of this, um, video, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thanks again. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.